Summary The main features of this chapter which we have studied about are as follows. An alternating voltage V equals to V in sin omega t applied to a resistor R drives a current I equals I m sin omega t in the resistor I m equals V m by R. The current is in phase with the applied voltage. For an alternating current, I equals I m sin omega t passing through a resistor R. The average power loss P due to joule heating is as shown. To express it in the same form as the DC power that P equals I square R, a special value of current is used. It is called root mean square current and is denoted by I as shown. Similarly, the RMS voltage is defined as shown. Also we have P equals IV which is again equal to I square R. An AC voltage V equals to Vm sin omega t applied to a pure inductor L drives a current in the inductor I equals I m sin omega t minus pi by 2 where I m equals V m by X L. X L equals omega L is called inductive resistance. The current in the inductor lacks the voltage by pi by 2. The average power supplied to an inductor over one complete cycle is zero. An AC voltage V equals to Vm sin omega t applied to a capacitor drives a current in the capacitor. I equals Im sin omega t plus pi by 2. Here Im equals Vm pi xc and moreover xc equals 1 by omega c is called capacitive reactance. The current through the capacitor is pi by 2 ahead of the applied voltage. As in the case of inductor, the average power supplied to a capacitor over one complete cycle is zero. For a series RLC circuit driven by voltage V equals to Vm sin omega t, the current is given by I equals Im sin omega t plus phi, where Im and phi have the values as shown and Z is called the impedance of the circuit. The average power loss over a complete cycle is given by Vi cos phi. The term cos phi is called the power factor. In a purely inductive or capacitive circuit, cos phi equals zero and no power is dissipated even though a current is flowing in the circuit. In such cases, current is referred to as a wetless current. The phase relationship between current and voltage in an AC circuit can be shown conveniently by representing voltage and current by rotating vectors called phases. A phaser is a vector which rotates about the origin with angular speed omega. The magnitude of a phaser represents the amplitude or peak value of the quantity represented by the phaser. The analysis of an AC circuit is facilitated by the use of a phasor diagram. An interesting characteristic of a series RLC circuit is the phenomenon of resonance. The circuit exhibits resonance, that is, the amplitude of the current is maximum at the resonant frequency, omega naught equals 1 by root LC. The quality factor Q defined by omega naught L by R or 1 by omega naught CR is an indicator of the sharpness of the resonance, the higher value of Q indicating sharper peak in the current. A circuit containing an inductor L and a capacitor C initially charged with no AC source and no resistors exhibits free oscillations. The charge Q of the capacitor satisfies the equation of simple harmonic motion as shown and therefore the frequency of free oscillations is 1 by root over LC. The energy in the system oscillates between the capacitor and the inductor but the sum or the total energy is constant in time. A transformer consists of an iron core on which a primary coil of NP turns 
and a secondary coil of ns turns if the primary coil is connected to an ac source the primary and secondary voltages and current are related by the shown relations respectively if the secondary coil has a greater number of turns than the primary the voltage is stepped up this type of arrangement is called a step up transformer if the secondary coil has turns less than the primary we have a step down transformer the table shows all the physical quantities the symbols dimensions units and remarks that's all surely you would have loved the chapter and mastered all the concepts